When was the last time you ate? And the last time you slept? Here are some quick snacks. I know you're in a hurry. I don't think I can get you to lie down either. Try to take a nap on the rail car and make up for the rest with coffee. This is what Julian drinks when he pulls several all-nighters in a row. He puts 10 sugar cubes in a cup to replenish his brain energy. People have some misunderstanding about you. <sighs> News about the battle at noon has probably started spreading. Halron shouted so loudly that those words must have gotten out. Those who have heard it may think you're an infiltrated spy. Stop! This is the expert you're looking for. The chief of Minos Bureau of Crisis Control. The hero that helped you take down the Legion. Trust. We came for the same mission, taking care of Drifter Camp, didn't we? Don't be fooled by the brutal way they fight. Most of the people in the camp are ordinary folks who get scared easily. They didn't even dare to face gangsters in the past, let alone that huge thing today. They have nothing against you, it's just that they've been through too much. Fear has become a habit. <sighs> Blame it on Julian, that sulky guy. He only knows to hide behind those mechanisms whenever something happens. He should at least say a few big words to lift the morale, being the leader and all. <sighs> then again... If even Julian, the most paranoid person in the camp, is willing to team with you, the others will gradually understand and accept you too. Don't worry. Didn't expect you to be a stubborn kid, too. Deep down, you were feeling aggrieved, but you just swallowed that feeling and continue to do your job. Has this happened to you often? My kid was about your age when she left. Think. It has nothing to do with people on your side. It was many years ago. I've long gotten over it. I joined Rustfire to be the mother of more kids. 
Like you, they all don't know how to take care of themselves. My work is never done. No, I'm not. You're neither my child nor our companion. Thank you. They had an urgent assembly today saying they had to fight against a monster. I heard explosions and gunshots. The depot was in ruins and fire was blazing. Julian told me to prepare for the worst. I, I thought... No matter your identity, stance, and purpose, you showed up and protected us. No outsiders have ever stayed for us, and even now, you're still straining yourself to keep working. I didn't lose anyone else, and it's all thanks to you. Regardless of what the others say, I'm truly grateful to you. Don't overwork yourself. Jerk who abducted us! He was following us! Who knows what he's up to this time? Oh, Tauron? He got scolded by Julian. He's probably holding his temper and has come here to be your bodyguard. That kid's quite skillful in operating mechanisms. He could be useful. I don't trust him. He's hostile toward Chief. He's just stubborn. Don't mind him and don't waste your energy on him. Once his seniors from the elite squad are back, someone will deal with him. <laughs> Let's go. Where do you want to go for your investigation next? Want me to show you those executive officer's messages? What? Corrupter outbreaks in multiple locations? This 